What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna to be doing an update on MMTLP and FINRA saga. And for today's video guys, I have uh, several quite interesting news and one major announcement. I will show you that we have uh, and we basically can see the increasing pressure to Gary Gensler from Congress members and in my opinion it is quite interesting part of our saga. And at the end of this video I will share my personal story and I highly suggest you to watch till the very end because it is important for me personally. So guys, a couple of words about my health. I'm much better for now, I, I feel much better for now and definitely I feel your support and that is why I get up every morning and I do these videos for you, for my viewers. That is why, guys, just hit the like button. So, and let's start with the news itself. Yesterday, I showed you some interesting uh, details, some interesting news from George Palikoras, where he explains why he didn't stop FINRA from uh, the performing the uh, spin-off of MMTLP. And uh, guys, I have to admit that George Palikers uh, did his best in order to uh, serve uh, the MMTLP shareholders, but he was stonewalled. And he asked uh, in his uh, latest, one of his latest tweets uh, this. Uh, let me quote it for you. Perhaps FINRA could be asked nicely by Next Bridge Hydrocarbons shareholders to release all emails between me and them since uh, September 2022. Better yet, they seem to be open to sharing emails between them and NextBridge Hydrocarbons. So, in the name of transparency, they should be able to release all emails between me, Rice, our legal teams, etc. prior to U3 halt and any comes between us after the U3 uh, halt until today. And uh, let me show you that we have first call to action. Rare DD, the person who is uh, doing an amazing job, he is uh, the best investigator in our community. And he published uh, recently, uh, less than one month ago, he published a video, two hours long video, which ex explains uh, the MMTLP saga. And Rare DD wrote this. FINRA, in the interest of transparency, can uh, you kindly post all emails, communications, correspondence between FINRA, Polycores and or metamaterials concerning the U3 heart of MMTLP and the process for deciding the wording of both MMTLP corporate actions. Thanks in advance. And guys, I don't think that FIRA will react to this uh, tweet. I don't know how uh, we should uh, do this uh, call to action, how we should ask uh, FINRA legally. And uh, if you have any thoughts about this, uh, what might be the uh, letters that should be written to FINRA or some kind of any other types of uh, communication, please drop me a line in the comment section and I will show you this in a call to action in my next video. So, let me show you further. Uh, Securities and Exchange Commission uh, just recently published this tweet. 13 hours ago they said, Today our division examinations published a risk alert on its uh, continuing examinations and outreach for the May 28, 2023 compliance date of T plus 1. It's critical that SEC registrants uh, and market participants prepare and understand uh, the impacts of T plus 1. And guys, on the one hand, it is uh, quite a good decision. For now, we use T plus 2 rule. But why in the world they are implementing this rule right now if uh, their own T plus 2 rule can be ignored by major market makers and hedge funds? It doesn't make sense uh, if, uh, you, uh, if you don't follow the T plus 2 rule. Why to strengthen it? In my opinion, it is uh, just an empty a decision that uh, basically wastes uh, uh, the taxpayer's money. On top of that, guys, I'm not the only person who thinks uh, like this. Uh, let me show you this tweet that was uh, written uh, just a couple of days ago by Congressman Mike Lower, and he wrote, SEC Chairman Gary Gensler's frenetic partisan rulemaking agenda threatens the health of financial markets and underscores the deep need for institutional reforms. And I agree for 100% uh, with congressman, because for now, 
Uh, you know that Gary Gessler is experiencing a huge pressure from Congress because of basically he doesn't work very well on his uh, post. That is why a lot of Congress, uh, a lot of congressmen uh, don't like uh, his uh, activity, and that is why they are trying to uh, enforce him uh, to work better. But uh, instead of this, uh, Gary Gessler. Uh, he implements uh, just this type of uh, rules that are basically doing nothing instead of uh, solving the real problems. And one of the real and biggest problems is definitely our problem, MMGLP saga. Let me show you what uh, did Zing wrote uh, in response to uh, this uh, congressman uh, tweet. Uh, Zing wrote, It's been recently proven that the SEC has blatantly lied in the Atlas case as well as we have the FOIA that proves collusion between FINRA and the SEC. The MMTLP 65,000 plus shareholders have been stonewalled for 475 days and uh, money frozen in time. Time for congressional hearing. And guys, let me show you that uh, if you don't know what is uh, the Atlas case, uh, let me show you this. Uh, Richard Hoffman, another our headliner, uh, he is a lawyer and he's an active lawyer and he explains in uh, his Twitter account and in his YouTube channel a lot of uh, things that are surrounding our case. And for example, on March 25th, he published this tweet, Alpine Legal Status, GTII Management, Atlas Trading and Busy Brands. And uh, I highly suggest you to follow uh, his uh, Twitter account. Rahrao999 and to subscribe to his YouTube channel. And by the way, this is the video in regards to Atlas Trading. Uh, and uh, in these type of videos and in this video in particular, he explains uh, what uh, does it mean and how it can be applied uh, to MMTLP case. And uh, definitely it is uh, this information is worth your attention. On top of that, let me show you that it is not the only Congress member who is trying to uh, push, uh, who is trying uh, to ask uh, quite tricky questions to Gary Gensler. Let me show you another tweet that was written by Brian Stale. Uh, he said, Chairman Gary Gensler has driven the trend of politicizing investments by loosening proxy rules and redefining materiality. I am fighting to reinstate trust in our nation's economy. And Anna, Anna Trades, reposted to this tweet the uh, following. Thank you, Representative Brian Stale, for your ongoing support of the MMTLP community. I deeply value the meetings I've had over the past 15 months with your office. I urge you to keep uh, using uh, your voice and influence to demand transparency for the 80,000 plus investors affected by fraud and counterfeit shares. It's time for Congress to push back against FINRA and the SEC stonewalling. We need justice and transparency. Please support subpoenas on our behalf. And she uh, attacked uh, several uh, people, Representative uh, James Conner, Representative Ralph Norman and uh, Patrick McHenry. On top of that, she added the link to the video that was just uh, recently published by Mark Falk. It is a trailer. Uh, the uh, name of this video is followed, Financial Terrorism in America, trailer, uh, March 19th, uh, 2024. And uh, this uh, trailer shows that uh, we are about to see a major movie, which explains in details all the problems of naked short selling from uh, 2008 economic crisis. And guys, I will definitely watch this video and I highly recommend you to do the same. So, and for now, let me show you the most important part and the most important announcement of uh, today's video. Drew Diligence uh, five hours ago wrote this tweet. MMTLP, tomorrow night I'm gonna drop a bomb on all of you. Tomorrow night uh, you will learn what I've been up to for three months, who was involved and exactly what the end result was. You don't want to miss this. And he added uh, this uh, reminder for his uh, space uh, that will take place basically uh, tomorrow and uh, you can see uh, the uh, time is 1.30 a.m. but this uh, time uh, is my time and I live in Europe. If you don't want to miss this information, set a reminder by just clicking this button and wait for the information from due diligence. And as you can see, the topic is uh, MMTLP January 5th, March 28th. So. 
definitely he has something to tell us and we have to wait it and we have to decide is it a real bombshell that uh, he is saying or not and uh, for now I don't see any obstacles than to attend uh, to this space call just uh, do it and uh, we will know much more within the next 24 hours and guys let me tell you my personal story I have a wife and two children aged 11 and uh, 15, as well as a small dog. After 30 years of living in Russia near the Baikal Lake, we decided to move. Now we reside in Serbia. Although I don't own any MMTLP shares, I invest a lot of time creating daily MMTLP videos. I have been doing this every day without days off and holidays for more than one and a half years. Now I wish to buy back this time from my family, from my children. We've agreed that I will ask the MHLP community to support me and I will give all the money to the children. Therefore, if you believe that I am providing useful content for you and uh, wish to support me, you can join my Patreon account. For $5 a month I will add your name to my list of supporters if you wish. Thank you in advance. The link you can find in the description below. So, I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught up in this life, I'm crazy, I'm bad. Doing no cap, only God.